What's up everyone? My name is Janice, creator of Pinoy Attack Dad. And today we're finally taking a break from cell phones so we can check out this cool and unique TWS, the Mi Zone B6. It's been a while since my last TWS review, so this is a breath of fresh air for me and hopefully for you as well. And a huge shout out to Gadget Z for providing this Mizone B6. All right, so let's do a quick unboxing first. And here are the important specs on the B6 that you need to know. And now that we got those out of the way, let's quickly discuss the unique design of the Mizone B6. What you'll instantly notice is its oddly shaped case. It has a rubberized finish and it's shaped like a diamond. And check out how you can open the B6. Boom. It's like you're breaking it in half and finding the goodies inside. So opening up the case and closing it again is so satisfying. So let's do this a few more times. So it's really satisfying. And it snaps back right into place. You can see that? Okay, so that's enough. <laughs> inside this unique case, you'll find your earphones. And they're not your typical looking earphones as well because they look a lot like beans, magic beans. There are no buttons here because these have touch controls and you have white indicators right here that tell you where the touch sensitive areas are. Now, going back to the case, you have a USB Type-C charging port neatly tucked under this cover in one of its corners. Then right here on one of its sides, we'll find a lightning bolt logo, which is the indicator for wireless charging. And we'll talk more about this later. You also have light indicators for its battery level. Moving on, let's briefly talk about the controls. You have the standard double tap, play, slash, pause control here. And what I really like about this is that it has volume controls. However, the volume controls seem to have been awkwardly reversed. You can increase the volume by long pressing the left earbud, and then long pressing the right earbud lowers down the volume. It's usually the other way around for most earphones that have volume controls, so it does take some getting used to, but I'm just really happy that it has volume controls. Now, Another odd thing here is that there is no previous control, so you won't be able to go back to your previous track. Now for convenience, here are all the controls on the Mizone B6. Next, let's talk about sound quality. And as always, let me warn you that I'm not an audiophile, I'm just sharing my thoughts as a casual listener. So the Mizone B6 advertises itself as having deeper bass plus, and it does live up to its promise. You do get a lot of bass on this, and sometimes even way more than what you bargained for, but bass heads will definitely be happy with this. However, the B6 is not just all about the bass. It actually delivers great overall sound quality. The vocals are really clear and crisp, amidst the strong bass. However, I do find that the bass sometimes overwhelms the instruments, making it a little bit hard to have good sound imaging. Now to make this simple, the B6 sounds great and provides high quality audio. It has a lot of bass that goes well with hip hop tracks. In addition, it also has aptex, so that adds a lot to the sound experience as well. So I give this high marks in terms of sound quality. Now as for the fit, the B6 earphones don't come in a standard shape and they really fit awkwardly for someone with huge ears like me, you need to position them upright and even doing so won't guarantee a perfect fit. So the fit is really dependent on each person's ear shape. Now I had to keep readjusting the B6 every now and then to ensure that it fits securely and that it wouldn't fall off of my ears. Now for comparison, the Sabat E12 Ultra and the Sabat X12 Ultra fit way better in my ears because of its form. Now, connecting the B6 to any Bluetooth device was easy. Just snap the case open and the earphones will automatically connect to the last device that they were paired with. I never experienced any disconnection issues, so it was a perfect experience for me. Neither did I have any latency issues when watching movies on Netflix or videos on YouTube. However, when it comes to gaming, you'll definitely want to stick to your wired setup, as the B6 really had bad latency when playing games. I played PUBG and Call of Duty Mobile using the B6 and the gunshot 
shots were way out of sync. So I don't recommend this at all for gaming. And when it comes to battery life, you can listen to the Mi Zone B6 for almost seven hours at 80% volume before you'll need to put them back in the case. And the case has a 1000 milliamp hour battery capacity, allowing you to recharge it up to five times. And when you need to recharge your case, you have the option of using a USB Type-C cable or wireless charging. Now, as you saw in our unboxing, the B6 does come with a free wireless charging pad, so huge thumbs up for that. Sadly, the microphone on this is probably the weakest link for the B6. Here's an actual phone call recording using the B6. Hey, what's up guys? So this is the microphone test for the Mi Zone B6. I'm using this for a phone call, so I'm recording this during a phone call. And you can hear a lot of background noise. What do you guys think of the microphone? I'm speaking a little bit loudly because I know that the microphone picks up a little bit of my voice. A lot of noise is going on in the background, so I'm going to keep it up loudly right now. What do you guys think? Can you hear me? Let me know in the comment section and let's go back to the community. Now, at 2,800 pesos from Gadget Z or just under $50 internationally, the B6 can easily be compared to the Sabbath X12 Ultra or even the E12 Ultra. And I say that's a fair comparison as the B6 provides high quality audio just like the two Sabbath TWS. Personally, I still prefer the sound profile on the Sabbath earphones as they sound clearer when it comes to the vocals and they're just more powerful when it comes to volume. But I do like the Mizone B6 more when it comes to value as it comes with a wireless charging pad, a huge battery capacity for its charging case, and IPX7 waterproof rating. And I've used the B6 a few times while showering, which is something I wouldn't attempt on any Sabbath TWS, as those only have IPX5 waterproof rating. I'm adding the Mizone B6 amongst my growing list of good TWS, especially in terms of value. At under $50, you get tremendous value with the Mizone B6, which comes with superb bass, good vocals, and overall good audio quality, plus you get a free wireless charging pad. Now, it comes in three colorways, and you can check out the white colorway from Gadget Sidekick's channel and the black colorway from Sula Tech Reviews. Now, if you want to get your own Mi Zone B6, make sure to check out the links in the description box. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell button so you can watch more videos like this in the future. That's it for today, guys. Keep safe and have a great day.